Hello guys, it's Al here, back again with another reaction video. I hope you're all doing very, very well. The weather's a little bleak, a little bleak outside. I'd, I'd like some snow for Christmas, but I don't think it's going to happen. What we did get for Christmas though is Cyberpunk 2077, which is awesome, by the way. And uh, a new trailer for GTA Online, which I don't know whether that's a Christmas gift or some kind of... Fondling of the old... Oh! Ah, oh, here we are. GTA Online, the K.O. Perico Heist gameplay trailer. Um, now, we knew this was coming because they did hint it in a smaller trailer, uh, I think, last week. Uh, November 20th. So, 20 days ago. 20 good days ago, or maybe a little bit above that. Um, but, here we have a proper trailer, I would imagine. I don't know how long this was. That's a minute. So, it's a minute long. But what new things is it going to bring? Because it seems to be on a completely new part of the map, a new island almost. Um, but hey, let's watch the trailer and then we'll uh, we'll have a little look, shall we? Let's take a look. Is this the right place for the party? Can we post? Is there a hashtag? <laughs> We're all here because of one man. You're not on the mainland now, huh? Anything goes. <laughs> I've seen him going in like a trout, chasing some supermodel down the beach on a panther, mate. I didn't understand a word of that. <laughs> oh my god, they, they love to do British people dirty. Do we actually sound like that? Do we actually sound like that? Because I watch like podcasts and stuff with American hosts, and then they get a British person on. And I can't hear it. But they'll take the piss out of them for their like really strong accent. I can't hear it because obviously I'm British. I have no idea. Um, to me, I just I just sound normal. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. But what? That's more of a um, more of a Birmingham accent, I think. More of a Brummy accent. They got that right though. I assume it's a Birmingham accent. I understand a word of that. <laughs> Lots of guards, high tech security. I need someone to rob it. You're obviously going to need a submarine. Okay. Let's try and come out of this with all of our ears and a bit of suntan. Okay. You know, and I know, I know they brought out stuff in the past. This game came out in two thousand eight. No, it did not come out in two thousand eight. When did GTA Five release? Two thousand thirteen. Can say Jesus, Jesus. Um, if there was ever a game to perfectly describe the Fast and Furious franchise, it would be Grand Theft Auto. I mean, it, in a way, I, I don't know if I like it. I really don't, because at the beginning of Online and at the beginning of GTA, it was all very down to earth. I think the most high tech thing we had was what jets flying about that would just lock onto you and blow you up. Those were the good old days. Um, uh, hackers were abundant, you got loads of stuff for free, but now you can obviously get the mega yacht, which I understand, that's fair enough. But then can't you also get like a armoured satellite truck or plane? And then these high-tech warehouses and flying bikes and cars and it's just gone crazy. It, it literally feels like they've spoken to the Fast and Furious director at this point <laughs> which by the way great films if you haven't seen them it's just at a certain point you, you start to go it's gone from street racing to this which this kind of has done um oh i haven't played grand theft auto online in an awfully long time i mean look the update's free right so it's not gonna hurt um obviously they make money with their shark cards and they rely on people spending a lot to buy the things that are way overpriced in game however however i understand that if you do grind a bit and do work a bit you will get the money to actually buy those things anyway which to be honest 
you should be doing you should be doing um, especially if you enjoy the game just grind it get it for free or pay for it with your hard work don't pay for it for real money there's no point there's no point but it, it really depends how crazily priced most of these things are and how easy it is to make money because when I was playing I think the most you can make was thirty three thousand dollars in a game um, and that was by spamming a private match again and again and again obviously then spending about five ten minutes completing it um, so I don't know what the maximum is now I imagine it's a lot higher and I imagine if you do the other heists you bring in a lot more cash but I still don't know if it's enough let me know in the comments if you're excited for this I personally probably am not going to play it just because I haven't even got GTA online installed or GTA 5 installed um, but I don't think it's enough to bring me back especially with the fact you get a submarine as well like how do you go from a street kid looking to make a quick buck to having a submarine I mean goals right goals but come on Come on, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I, I like the fact it's a free DLC. I love the fact they're bringing a lot of new stuff to the game. I'm sure that's really, really good for the community. Like, it's not going to be bad. But uh, I think the way they've gone from, as I say, street racing and gangs to high military armaments and high-tech stuff is just... I, I don't know. I don't know. It feels a bit... Um, Saints Rowish, I guess, but at least Saints Rowish doesn't hide behind it. It very much tells you when you buy the game, this is what it's like. Uh, whilst this kind of promised to be something else, the game, at least Grand Theft Auto, promised to be something else, and then it's gone very futuristic. So I don't know what the plan is for the next Grand Theft Auto. Like, is that going to be a complete futuristic world? I don't know. Hopefully not. But hey, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this reaction, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Up on the housetop, reindeer paws. Out jumps good old Santa Claus. Down through the chimney with lots of toys.